Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you? Oh, good teacher. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, good. How was our how was your week this week? Pretty good. So very good. Yes. The next week. week is it will be difficult. Really? Yes. Why is that? Uh in the month in my job, uh, the first weekend, the first week and the third week are so difficult. I have to do presentation, another presentation, another presentation. <laughs> and I am not happy to do it, but I have to. Yeah, that's life. Your yes. job. Yeah, yeah I get it. Uh, sorry to hear that. Well, at least it's only one a week, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, well, hopefully it'll be gone by very quickly and you'll be able to um, just relax the following week. Yes, I hope so. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, let me see. So we have quite a few already. All right, so what we'll do then is we'll take attendance. Um, so just give me a moment. Okay, Ana Lorena Lovato. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful, thank you. And Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Okay, Carlos Ernesto uh, Hernández Cepeda. Okay, Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Okay. Um, Carlos Mauricio Medivar. Present. Okay, very good. Um, Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Okay. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Emerson, this is Monroy Calix. Okay. Uh, Emily Sister Torres Present. Wonderful, thank you. Ileana Rebeca Carpio Caleón. Iliana Rebecca Carpio Calderón. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Uh, José Bernardo López Rolínez. Present, Miss. All right, wonderful. Jose Carlos Arqueta Romero. Jose Carlos Arqueta Romero. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Present, teacher. 
Thank you. Uh, who's been a daily assignment? Who's been a daily assignment? Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present, Miss. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present. Okay, thank you. Osman uh, Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Zena Diaz. Rafael Alexander Zena Diaz. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Boniacano. Sandra Abigail Boniacano. Siegfried Ernesto Gómez Guinea. Siegfried Ernesto Gómez Guinea. Present. Okay, thank you. Wendy Marisela Ramirez Guevara. Good evening. Good evening, Present. Wendy. Okay, wonderful. Mina Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez Torres. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez Torres. Uh, Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. And Eduardo Antonio Magaña Monterrosa. Eduardo Antonio Magaña Monterrosa. Okay, all right. Okay, guys, so that's it. Uh, let's uh, move on to our actual class. Um, Please tell me if you can. Second. Okay, tell me if you can please see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So let's look at these questions here. Um, so it says here, is there a specific guideline at your workplace to deal with conflicts? So everybody, like we said, we've been talking about before, everybody experiences conflicts at the workplace. Is there a guideline? at your workplace on how to deal with conflicts? What do you guys think? Do you, do you know of any guidelines at your workplace on how to deal with conflicts? You understand the question? Mm 
the question refer maybe when you have a rules or in a specific uh, uh, in a specific uh, guide uh, that in your workplace um, from your boss, for example. Mm -hmm. Exactly. This is the the me. Uh. Yeah, that's what it's referring to. Exactly. So, um, is there a guideline? that you have to follow at work? I think that no, I think that is not a specific guideline from direct my boss, but maybe rule in a specific, a specific rule that the company have in the police or when you training, when you, when you begin in the, the job, maybe. Hmm. Okay, what what is it? So how do you know what, what is the guideline? Do they tell you or what? Is it written somewhere? They mm. give you it's a manual, no? Yeah, in the manual. Yeah, they give you in the manual or maybe the in the police that they you can see in the in the wall or maybe some, but no no specific uh to deal with conflict is in general, I think. Okay, uh, Mina, are you are you talking about police or the policies? Policies. Policies. Okay. Policies. Yeah, the policies okay. that when they when you start or when you begin in a job, they they have the policies and they have a rules that you have to 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 allow or follow the mm -hmm. the, the rules. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe I think. Mm. Okay. In the manual, yeah, it's typical that they the all rules are in the manual in the manual. Okay. What about the rest of you? What do you guys? What what's happening in your workplace? Do you have a guideline at your workplace or not really? Yes, we have uh, something like that, and at the beginning when we are in the training. They give you, they give us, uh, or they dedicate one day just to make us know what is the the poli the policies uh, about the job. Okay. Does everybody have that, or or maybe somebody doesn't have that at the workplace? Okay. All right. Now, what about the next question? How should managers deal with underlying tensions and subtle behavior development in their team? Do you understand that word subtle? Nope. Anybody know, know that word subtle? Um, I remember you said something about that is it, when is um something happened but something happened but it is a little bit difficult to to notice. Uh huh. Uh huh. Another word for subtle would be like discreet. Yes. Yes. Okay. So something that is not noticeable. How do you say that in Spanish? Subtle. Sutil in Spanish is sutil, I remember. Yeah. Good, exactly. Remember the B is not pronounced. Don't pronounce the, the B. So it's subtle, subtle, not subtle. It's subtle. Okay. Subtle, yes. subtle, okay. Subtle. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, so how should managers deal with underlying tensions and subtle behaviors developing in their team? What do you think? What is your opinion? 
if you were a manager and you saw that there were underlining uh, tensions and subtle behaviors that were developing in the team, how would how do you think it would be the best way to deal with them? Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I see when if you have if you are a manager, maybe you have to talk with with your team first, then then you communicate something to re to human resource mm -hmm. and remember and and remember the 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 manuals or try to look some some help or explain uh, at your team that the the subtle behavior that they keep in the in their jobs or in the in their team maybe okay I think that okay fair enough fair enough um anything else? I think teacher uh, managers must must set uh, clear rules about behavior of his team. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, the the manager, I think also has uh, has to speak with his team and uh, <laughs> put clear rules. Okay. Okay, good. Anything else? Come on, guys. I want everybody's opinion. I just want. Uh, sometimes some example help to the team understand what happened when the rules are broken. So if they have some procedures to try to avoid some kind of um, situations, but um, maybe someone try to with the behavior with bad behaviors try to to put conflict in the job. So sometimes is better put some example and the example is fire the, the people and crucify crucificarlo. I don't know how to say that in, in English. Uh like uh he is fired because he, he don't respect the the manual or or the behaviors of the company, and we give them some opportunities, but he doesn't take it. So for that reason, we decide to to terminate the contract, and and that is the example. Maybe the others take the take the example in good way and and try to to sell their their jobs and avoid some that kind of behavior. Okay. Okay. Good enough. Very good. Anything else? Anything else? Okay, all right. Okay, so what we're gonna do is the following. Uh, you will notice that in this page here, we have um, 
we have an article, let's say, a passage. Um, it says, read the following passage that exemplifies a scenario of an ineffectively managed conflict. So this is a conflict that existed and it was ineffectively managed. So that means, what that means when it says ineffectively managed, means that the way that they handled it, the way that they managed it, was not the best way. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I will, you guys should have this, but still I'm going to send it to you guys um, through the WhatsApp group. Just give me a moment. Okay, um, please tell me if you can see. I'm giving one, one more. All right, I already sent the screenshot. Please tell me when you get it. Those don't have it? Yes, got it. Okay. All right, good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you guys into breakout rooms. And I want you to read this passage, okay? Read the passage, circle words that you don't understand, okay? Uh, circle vocabulary that you're not sure about the pronunciation as well, okay? So you're gonna take turns reading the paragraphs. So maybe there might be, I don't know, three, three people in your group. I want everybody in the group to be reading a paragraph. So you can take turns reading the first paragraph, the second, so on, okay? Got it? Do we understand what we're, what we're gonna be doing? I'm just a check. Yeah? Okay, good. Okay, let me make the groups. Okay, um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna literally ask individual people. Um, So, okay, so I know the people that have the cameras on, they're there. Edwin Antonio, are you there? Edwin Antonio? Edwin Antonio? I guess not. He's not there. Okay, what about uh, Osman? Osman? Osman sent a message to WhatsApp that be a listener. Okay. Ricardo Ernesto? Um, hi, teacher. I'm here, but um, I'm a little busy in my work, so I, I won't be able to participate right now. Sorry. 
Okay. Um, Nelson Alberto. Nelson Alberto. No está en el sol, Alberto. Mauricio Antonio. Mauricio Antonio. Bien, ficha. Uh, are you going to excuse me, are you going to be able to participate? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um Rafael, Rafael Alexander. Hello, teacher. Hi, will you be able to participate? Um, teacher, I um, don't feel very well. Okay, so is that a yes or a no? Rafael, will you be able to participate? Yes or no? So, Rafael, I need an answer. Okay, guys, you need to you need to talk to me because I I can't guess. You need to tell me what's going on. Um, Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos en eso, ¿no? Sandra, Sandra Abigail. Sandra Abigail. Eulises Torres. Yes, I'm here. Okay, will you be able to participate? Yes, I will try. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right. So, um, okay. All right. The reason why I'm doing this is because that way I don't have people in the groups. Porque después me dicen, mire, fulanito y menganito no están, no, no están participando. Yo estoy solo. Entonces, por eso es de que les pregunto, porque así nos evitamos ahí tener los, los grupos con personas que son the listeners. Ok. Let's uh, open the groups then. All right. Here we go. Remember, you're going to read the, the paragraph and circle words that you don't understand. And words that you want to know the pronunciation too, okay? Okay, here we go.
Yes. Uh, who can share the screen? Uh, me. Okay. Because me. I don't download the. Don't worry. The don't worry. I want to share. Okay. Hi, Jose Salvador. Hello, teacher. Hi. Are you going to be able to participate? Mm. I I like. Yeah, you're gonna participate. Okay, I'm gonna send yes. you into one of the groups. Okay. Don teacher, ¿cuál es la tarea? Es que se se me salió el tenía el teléfono y se me salió el la cosa y tal. Okay, so um, all you have to do is um, you are going to um. You're going to be reading the article that I sent in the group. Mm -hmm. You saw the article that I sent? I sent an article. In el grupo hay un artículo. Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay, so I sent an article. You have to read the article with your group. Okay? Oh, okay, teach. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, yeah. All right, perfect. I'm, so, I'm sending you right now. For example, for me, that should Test a font test support uh, in Spanish is like uh, in support the 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 telefonica. I will see it. It's call center, like like call center. Mm, I no. I believe maybe. Yes. Okay. What is the mean branch branch? Do you know what is the main branch? No, so I don't. I don't sure if is a marker. Branch? No. Uh, uh, give me a second. Uh, translate. Okay. Branch, branch means uh, sucursal. Ah, right. branch. Okay. Uh, yes. Sucursal. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. What is the mean? Scars. Scars. Then see. Escaso. Escaso. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, who read the second paragraph? Maybe me. Okay. I was late that day for work, you know? How the afternoon chief and traffic was just terrible on that particular day. I just took a random chair from a cubicle that see me twenty later a co-worker shop showed up. He was very aversive about the fact uh, I had taken his chair, but I was not just about to give up the share when I was in the middle of a conversation with a customer I told him to get another share okay okay uh, there are some words don't you know in the afternoon maybe shift it's, it's turno okay I, this word I I I I learned because in my job uh, many people say this word. Ah, the uh -huh. chief, chief uh, they uh, chief day, uh, chief night. Yo, uh, and uh, what is the mean chief chief? Uh -huh. I don't understand. Yes. For the for reason you learn this. Yes. Word. Yes. For example. Uh, 
a screen printing department, a work a chief night, or is yes, night shift, night shift, night shift, and they chief. Yes, for 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 this reason, I <laughs> I know this. I know very easy this this word. Okay. 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 Uh, Emerson, do you, yes, uh, I continue. Okay. People have really taken offense offense to it. The next time I have my coaching session, the manager the manager of the account account came in a in at the end and said that someone had expressed the opinion that they thought I was a bully. She explained the business with the shirt. Let's continue other side. I say I wasn't really nasty about it all, but she did. She said, "Well, we will have have it reported, and we got to mention mention it to you." The interview employees has on the describe the impact of the situation following the coaching session. Okay. Uh, are there are there some words that you know? Maybe no. nasty. Nasty, nasty. What is what is this word? Ah, nasty. Yes. Okay. Uh, in this context, in this context, what is the meaning of the shirt? She explained the business with the shirt. Yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can't see this, this word. What is that, this word? Ah, uh, explain it. Y explicaría los negocios con the share. Yes, uh, share, share is like, I think, is yeah. share, share because like. in the uh, par paragraph, how do you say anterior? Uh, anterior is previous. Before. Previous. Yeah, the previous yeah. paragraph. Previous. Huh? Okay, previous, and previous. previous. Paragraph describe a flight for a share. Uh, maybe for the reason uh, is say share in this paragraph. Share is is see, yeah, but yeah. in this context, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't understand. So, uh... Uh, she, <laughs> she uh she said uh, we have to read it the paragraph okay. and also we have to find different part di different words uh, yes yeah. uh, the, the the paragraph and the pra the practice and the pronunciation yeah mm -hmm. as well for example uh, apologies I don't know uh -huh. exactly it's a, it's a good uh, word and we have to the meeting uh, we have to the yes okay. 
We can try to read different parts of uh, Carlos. Okay. What do you think? Yes. Okay. You first and I second oh oh thank you second uh wendy hello okay and again from and again from uh, when up from tech support is a talking about a situation when he started production on a new thing at the time the branch was in the process of moving the office to a different location, causing of equipment, shares, decks, and computers to be of bad quality and scarce. And Wendy, you can try the read the second paragraph, please. Okay. I was light that day for work. You know how the afternoon shifts and traffic was just terri terribly. <laughs> On that particular day, I just took a random share from a uh, publicly that seemed to be empty. Lay there a walker showed, showed up. He was very aggressive, aggressive about the the fact I had taken his chair, but I was no use about to give up the chair away. I was in the middle for a conversation with customer. I told him to get another chair. He must have really take offering to it. The next time I have my coaching section, coaching. the manager coaching. of the coaching, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> session, the manager of the account came in at the end at, at the end and said that somebody had expressed the, the auction that they Said it was a bully, Billy. I don't know. Bully. Bully, yeah. Yeah. She explained the business with oh. the share. Yes. I say I wasn't really messy about it. Uh, would she say will be had a report? And we will go to mention mention into you the interview employee goes of the describe the impact of the situation following the question section. Mm. Me? Yeah. Yes. After that, I was extremely paranoid about saying I needing. Do I know to know like something offens? And the four paragraph nasty. Nasty. What is the mention? Mm, it is something like uh dirty. Dirty. Uh is the positive of clean. Ah, uh, clean, limpio, uh, nasty. Is the the positive? The positive. The positive. Right. Sería sucio. Sucio. Yeah. Mm. Nasty. Are you sure? Uh, ah, ah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, asqueroso. Uh huh. Yeah, it's good. Then, about it at all. The situation can be extremely bad. Paranoid. Paranoid. I don't know. Paranoid. I think there is a way, but 
per, per, pernoid. Paranoid. Oh, pernoid. Okay. Pernoid. I need to know something offensive. The team communicating effectively. 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 Whole situation. In a super. Ah, it's cold. I don't know what is. What is it? It's cold. It's cold. Me. It's cold. 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 For some, so, so silly, silly. Ah, I remember what is what is silly, silly. Yes, yeah, silly. Silly, silly. Tonto. Que no vale. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. No vale la pena. Uh -huh. What is the pronunciation? Silly. Silly. Uh -huh. Silly. Yeah. Silly. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Silly. Mm -hmm. Again, again. Okay, okay, okay. Silly. Okay, okay. You can work here and be done with it. Uh, the first word in the last paragraph, I don't know what is. Us, um, to describe the impact of the situation. I think that it's true. I mean... Uh, but that says that in the next uh, meeting, but the question is, uh, is not for the next meeting, it is for the first meeting. The employee was interviewed by his manager about the incident with the chair after the other co-worker uh, Um, I forgot the, the word <laughs> claim after the, the co worker uh, reclamo mm -hmm. for the chair. Uh, the, the, the superior didn't call her uh, for an interview, he didn't ask her what happened. Mm -hmm. He called the superior and scolded her. And scold her. They don't ask her what happened. They just hear one of the versions. I think for me that is false. It's false, okay. But okay. I think I don't know. Maybe because the manager don't don't put attention at any conversation with her. Just say, okay, at the end of the say in the paragraph that. Basically, yeah. they just, hey, hey mm. uh, uh, that girl said that you did bully to her and that is not good and blah, blah, blah. So they didn't ask him. They didn't ask her, hey, that girl said that you did bully to her. Is it true? What happened? Mm -hmm. No, 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 not really the situation because in the third paragraph, say the manager of the account came in, in at the end and said that somebody had expressed the opinion that they thought I was a bully. Uh huh. That that make me think that is false. That the uh, employee was interviewed. Hold on, guys. By his manager. Guys, don't, don't do the, the, the second part just yet, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. We okay. have to try the conversation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we'll get we'll get to that in a moment, okay? So right now we're just <laughs> we're just discussing the, the situation, trying to figure out vocabulary and everything, okay? Okay. okay. So I'm guessing you guys are finished, right? You read all of it. 
and yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna go back to the main room then. Okay. Okay. Okay, did you guys all have a chance to read the article, the problem? Yes, we did it. Yeah? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's uh, start reading. I'm going to share. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Yes, I'm able. Okay. All right. First of all, the first thing I'm going to ask you guys to do is we're going to go paragraph by paragraph. So let's start with the, this first paragraph right here. Can you write in the chat vocabulary that you're not sure about? Just the vocabulary in the first paragraph. Not, not in, a, in other paragraphs, no. Just in the first paragraph. Caution. You can write the in the, yeah, you can write in the chat. Okay. Yes, I did it. Okay. Anything else? That's it? Okay. Oh, okay. Anything else? Anything else? Okay. So branch is when a company is a very big company and um, they have like smaller offices around different places. Um, the way I like to explain it is like, let's think of like the, uh, the banks, for example. Uh, just let's take, let's just take the, for example, the um, the bank agricola, just because, yeah. Okay, well, so let's take as an example, uh, the Banco Agricola. They have a main office and the main office is, is by Salvador del Mundo. You guys know that, right? Yeah? So that's their main office, but they have smaller branches in all parts of El Salvador, scattered around. They are small offices for the, of the same bank. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. So right now we're just we're just doing the first paragraph. Okay. So we're going paragraph by paragraph. 
so that it'll be easier to identify the words. Okay. All right. Uh, and then we have the word um, scarce. And scarce means that when it's something, uh, there is very little of it. Okay. There's It's like the opposite of abundant. You, know, you understand the word abundant? Abundant. Yes, we have uh, more than we need. Yeah, exactly. You have abundant is something that is more than you need. Okay. So the opposite is yeah. um, scarce. Mm -hmm, exactly. So the opposite of abundant would be um, scarce. Escaso. Exactly. Yeah. Oops. Wait. <laughs> Let me try that again. There you go. That's better. Okay, so the opposite of, of scarce is abundant. So it means that there's very little of it, okay? So Mauricio, if you can give me the vocabulary by paragraph, okay? So right now we're just concentrating on this paragraph and then we're gonna go to this paragraph and so on. So you can give me the vocabulary by paragraph. It'll be easier for us to work together, okay? Okay, next. Uh, any other words? Is that is that all for this for for this paragraph? Okay. Uh, what about pronunciation? Do you have any questions about pronunciation? You can write in the chat. Anything else? That's it? Okay. So this word is, oh, okay. Okay. So this word is causing, 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 yeah. causing. Okay, it's causing. This word is equipment. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. Scarce. Scarce. Okay. And started. 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 Okay. Okay. Let's continue. All right. The next paragraph. Vocabulary that you don't understand. Please write in the chat the vocabulary that you don't understand. Um, for this paragraph. Right here. This one right here.
method? All the vocabulary is clear? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Okay. So um, the first one is shift. Shift. And it means um, when, when you have like a, a time that you are supposed to work it's like the period of time that you are supposed to work, okay? So some people work the morning shift, the afternoon shift, the evening shift, or even the graveyard shift. Graveyard shift is like a, like in the middle of the night, okay? So that's a period of time that you have to work, okay? It's maybe synonymous with uh, schedule, right? Yeah, we can say it's synonym, yeah. Yeah, it's a synonym for schedule. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, So how do you say shift in Spanish? Turno, horario. Turno, mm -hmm. turno. Good. Then we have random. Random, it means like, um, not one in particular, just any, just you choose ah oh, that one, right? So you don't you don't really have something in specific. You're thinking oh, I want this one. No, it's just like ah oh, I'll pick this one or oh, I'll pick this one, whatever. Okay. So like if you are uh, listening to random music, let's say that like I don't know you are uh, you are on spotify for example and you're listening to random music it means that like you're not really choosing a specific music or song or you're just listening to whatever comes okay so random what is that in spanish azar al azar mm -hmm. good cubicle is very similar to spanish it means um like in, a, in an office, you may have cubicles, like which are like divisions um, in, an, in an office that make like smaller offices, like it's a division. So if you have like a big room to, in order to make smaller offices without, cre without actually making an office, you have cubicles, right? So you have one cubicle where, where I work and maybe my partner has another cubicle next to me. Okay, so it's like a divi it's like a, a division for the offices. In Spanish, how do you say that? Cubiculo. Yeah. Good. Seemed, it means like appeared. It appeared to be. 
Okay, so to seem, to seem, it's like saying appear. Yeah. It, it gives you that appearance, the appearance of that. Okay. Empty, it means that sorry. no. Sorry, teacher. How, how do you pronounce that word? Because it's in past. Seemed. With Seemed. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Empty. The opposite of full. Yeah, exactly. The uh, empty is the opposite of full, right? So it means that, uh, that no one, in this case, no one was using the chair. Right? In other words, right? It, like nobody was, it was, it was available. Okay, let's say that it, that's another word for available. Okay. A coworker showed up. It's actually, it's not just showed, but showed up. So to show up means to appear. To appear. Like, to, um, are you going to show up to the event? That means, are you going to go to the event? Are you going to appear at the event? Okay. And then we have fact. Fact means um, something that is true. Okay, a fact is a piece of information that is true. Not 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 something that is made up. It's something that is true. How do you say fact in Spanish? Hecho. Un hecho. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And told is the passive tell of the verb tell, which is synonym for say. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, now if you can uh, write in the chat vocabulary that you don't understand the pronunciation. Um, remember, we are still on this paragraph. Estamos en segundo párrafo. Anything else? A bit more? Okay, so the word here is middle. Middle, middle. Okay. We have showed up. Showed up. Showed up. Showed up. Yes, showed up. Anything else? Okay. All right. Now let's go to the next. Oh. Told. 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 
Okay, thank you. Okay. Now let's go to the next. This one and this one. It's actually one complete pattern. So, um, yeah. So let's do this one, one complete one. So tell me um, vocabulary that you don't understand the meaning. We can hear you, teacher. Yeah. Very good. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so coaching session. Um, second. Okay, so coaching session um, is, well, you, you understand the idea of a coach, right? Coach somebody that, that helps you to become better, right? That's a coach. So somebody that knows about, knows better about the journey that you're doing and they guide you through it. That's a coach, okay? Like, like in the, um, for example, let's say in soccer, okay? There's there are coaches. Coaches are the people um, that take care of the team, and they tell the team, okay, you're doing this, you're doing that. This is not good. You have to do this, and they guide the the team to be better. That's a coach. So coaching session is a it's like a meeting that you have with your coach, 
where they tell you how you can improve. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yeah? How would you say coaching session in Spanish? Session de entrenamiento. No entrenamiento. Eh, ¿Tutor? ¿Es como tutor? Ajá. Eh, it's like una sesión guiadora or something like that. Right? Because um, the person is guiding you to be better. Okay? Um. All right, does that make sense? Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, or, or you know, word, another word would be like orientación. Mm -hmm. Recesión de orientación, something like that. Okay, next. Account. Account is very similar to Spanish. Well, actually, more or less. Account is um, the manager of the account. So we have, uh, diff like, for example, let's say if you are working in a call center, there are different accounts, right? So it means, like, um, there are different... Um, how can I say this? Maybe client? Yeah, yeah, we can say that it's like a client. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a client. Yeah. Okay. So they are like, um, and it, like they are in, like, let's say in a call center, uh, people work with different clients. So, just to give you an example, uh, maybe one client is Microsoft. So Microsoft is one client and everybody that works um, with the um, with Microsoft is under the same account. Okay. So how do you say account in Spanish? Una cuenta del cliente. Una cuenta. Una cuenta. Good. Okay. Thought is the passive think. Okay, so simple passive think. Bully. Well, a bully is uh, somebody, like actually nowadays it's become very common to hear the word bullying. She's bullying me. So bully, bullying is somebody that is like, they, they believe they're better, they're bigger than you, they're stronger than you. So they're gonna do things that are gonna like push you and trying to intimidate you. Yeah. So that's a, the, a bully is a person that tries to intimidate other people by being stronger, okay, or bigger. All right. Okay, so far so good? Yes. Sorry, somebody had a question? No, the third paragraph is, it's okay. Okay. All right, and then we have nasty. Nasty means like mean. Like if you're nasty, you're mean. Like you're not nice. You're very, very, you're, you're, you're not nice at all. Okay, so we can say mean. Okay, they're mean. Somebody's nasty, mean, not nice, offensive. Okay. And said is the past of say, the verb say. It's a simple past of say. 
Okay. All right. Now you can tell me about the pronunciation. What words um, do you want to know the pronunciation? You can write in the chat. Okay, is that the other word? Will they that word? Okay, all right. So this is pronounced weave. Weave. Okay. Weave. Okay. Great. Let's go on to the next one then. Um. So let's go on to the next. The next paragraph, so this one right here. Sorry. So this this paragraph here. Okay. So you can write the words that you don't understand the meaning of those words. Any other words that you understand the meaning? Anything else? Okay. All right. So paranoid, it's actually very similar to Spanish. Paranoid means that you, it's when you think um, that someone is a constantly doing, um, uh, doing something or it's like a, 
you're you think that other people are constantly uh doing something towards you right so they are out to attack you that's a paranoid okay to be paranoid so you're you you think that the other people are are constantly trying to do harm to you okay and in, in spanish you say paranoico paranoico mm -hmm. good okay uh felt is a passive feel it's a passive of the verb feel to scold it means to uh to say to someone that they're doing something wrong okay and but to say it in a very in, in a very um sword a very uh strong way like when your parents, for example, when you were children and you did something that was wrong, your parents would scold you. They'd go, you did something bad, 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 bad. Right? That's scold. Okay. How would you say scold? Regañar. Regañar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in this case, is in the good way or in the bad way? Scold is always in a bad way. In the bad way, ah, okay. Always. So in the good way is uh, advice, right? Will be. Right. Like even in Spanish. O sea, si algo le regaña a uno, siempre mal. Yes, siempre... yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So it, it always it's always telling the person that they did something bad. And it's like, bad, bad, bad you. Okay. That's scold. Silly, silly is like stupid, something stupid, something that does is not important. Okay. All right. Tonto. Hmm? Tonto. Por algo so, tonto. Ah, uh -huh, tonto. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Something very stupid, something that's not important. By the way, did you know that the word stupid is doesn't really have the same connotation as the word estúpido in, in Spanish? Did you know that? So, estúpido y stupid is not the same thing in Spanish. Or sorry, it's not the same thing. Did you know that? Tonto? Yeah. So, Eh, so stupid is more like tonto, mm -hmm. right? So it's not, it's not, it doesn't have the same idea because estúpido in in Spanish sounds very very strong, but in English stupid is not is not strong. It's it's like in saying Spanish tonto. is an offense. Yeah, uh -huh. in English in English no, I think mm. tonto is. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you could say to a person, don't be stupid. No seas tonto. Mm -hmm. But it, it is not the same thing as saying, no seas estupido. That, that's a totally different thing. Okay? <laughs> yeah? Okay, so just keep that in mind. Apologized? It say means... sorry. Ah, yeah, sorry? Say sorry. Yeah, exactly. Apologize means to say that you are sorry. To say that you are sorry. What does it mean, apologize in Spanish? Disculpas. Pedir disculpas. Pedir disculpas. Exactly. It's more polite. Yeah. Because sorry is, is yeah. And apologize is more, I think that is more polite to say sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so I think apologize is the action. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Exactly. Apologize is the, is the verb. Okay. And sorry is um, an adjective. You can say, I am sorry. It's an adjective. You can say, you can say, say I'm sorry, or say you're sorry. That, that's the same thing as apologize. That's a verb. 
Okay. Okay, let's continue with the pronunciation. Any words that you don't understand how to pronounce? No, no words, all of them are clear. Really? Wow, I'm impressed. Not one word. Okay, all right. If there are no words, then we'll have to continue. Okay, let's go on to the last. Let's turn right here. Tell me words that you don't know the meaning. The first one, the complainant. Okay, but write it down, write it in the chat. Anything else? Okay, all right. So complainant is the person who complains. Okay, so you understand the word complain? Did I say the word complain? No. Complain is when you when you say that that when you express that you don't like something, that you don't you don't agree with something, that's a complaint. Like if you go, for example, I don't know, to a restaurant and you don't like the service that they give you, you can complain about it. You can talk to the manager. And tell them that you don't you didn't like the service. That's a complaint. Quejarse. Una queja, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. complaint is the person that does the complaint. The okay. person that may complain. Yeah. It's the person that makes the complaint. Okay. Got it. All right. Atmosphere is like the mood. Similar to saying like the mood. Okay. So the there was a bad mood. There was a bad atmosphere. Uh, it's like um environment the environment yeah it means the it's just, it, it means like the like the, the feeling group. like the feeling that you get when you are in the group okay any other words Okay, let's do now pronunciation. Write in the chat any words that you don't know the pronunciation.
Cezary. Okay. All right, first word, prepared. Prepared. Repeat, prepared. Prepared. Yeah. Prepared. Prepared. Yeah. Apology. 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 Atmosphere. 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 Good. Employee. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. There you go. Those are the words. Okay. So now that you really understand the, the article, you know, because we really have seen all of the vocabulary. So we can understand it a little bit better. Um, let's talk about the situation that we have here. What did you think about the situation? How was, do you think it was handled with emotional intelligence? Do you think they handled it with emotional intelligence? What do you think? Yes, no. Maybe in the case of co-workers, no, because uh, they fly for a share. Um, in our, uh, the environment, the customers, and maybe it's not a good reaction. Okay. All right, what do you guys think? What's your opinion? Did they handle it with emotional intelligence? So let's 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 start with the first guy. Let's let's start for the, with the first guy, the, the first agent. Did he handle it with emotional intelligence? Did he, do you think he handled it with emotional intelligence? Mira que es. Do you think he handled it with emotional intelligence? The first guy? The first agent? So the the his his coworker asked him to get off the chair, and he told them to get into the chair. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Tell me. I need your opinion. That's why I'm asking questions. Do you understand my question? Hi. I understand that you, you your question is that if in the first situation uh, they use uh, emotional intelligence. I mm -hmm. think, in my opinion, I think that no. Why? Because an, an agent from a phone takes support and maybe the situation don't, don't understand very well for the, for the, the girl that 
the the girl is the other person is new and he need to he need to more um specific uh, induction okay maybe i think okay because they have a lot of theme that the, the branch was in the process of the movie they offer different location and they don't have the equipment uh I think that a lot of <laughs> a lot of themes, and this is the 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 first situation that the an, an agent can can do the the other way to explain the situation. I think not by mm -hmm. phone or. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Yes, I I I agree. Yeah. I think um the or I believe the second guy, the co-worker that's asked for the share, uh -huh. just want to fight because uh if we pay attention in the first paragraph, they say uh the branch was in the process to moving to a different location. So for that reason it the that the uh, that space is a little empty. Mm -hmm. Nobody is there. So a lot of chairs are there. So the second guy just can take another chair and that's it. But he wants to fight just for the seat and for that chair. So I think it's just he wants to fight for it. Okay. You think that he, he can, wants... He can avoid the, the conflict just taking a different chair and that's all. And the other situation is uh, the first guy and the first person is in the contact center. He is talking with with some customers. So he he won't stop to chat with the or speak with the customer just for give the share to the mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. So I, I think the second guy just wants to fight only that. Okay. Do you agree that all he wanted to do was flight? Could it be that he just wanted to fight? Maybe he was having a bad day. Maybe. <laughs> Okay. It's what possible. If, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Because fighting with that for a chair is 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 crazy. Something you know? silly. <laughs> so silly. Yeah. <laughs> what about the coach? So stupid in English. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about the coach? Do you think he handled the situation? He or she handled the situation? Um, well, with emotional intelligence, it depends uh, of the information that he received because uh -huh. the second week maybe say something that maybe is not true. Uh -huh. So, when the, the coach or the manager start to talk with the first guy. So he starts to talk in maybe in the no in the bad way because he don't have the, the good information at the beginning. He doesn't have the yes the, that's the mm -hmm. so for that reason he maybe use um root tongue of voice okay and, and accuse no complain Mm -hmm. He complained about him, yes. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. They they make a gossip oh. with a shirt t-shirt. <laughs> gossip. Yeah. They make a gossip just for a share. Mm -hmm. What would you have done if you were in that in in that um in that company? Can you repeat, teacher? 
what would you have done if you were in that company? I work in a call center a lot of time ago and mm -hmm. I took different shares from others too. <laughs> but we nobody start a discussion about that mm -hmm. because it's mm -hmm. something silly and all the time happen in the call center. Mm -hmm. No and, not yet, but be careful. <laughs> yes, could be, could be. But um, maybe some solution is put the name in the shirt and nobody can change it. Change it. Maybe. I decided. Yeah. Or not put some, a lot of important just in the chair. We can change yeah. it. And that's all. Yes, teacher. Don't care about the chair or the cubicle or the or the or the place that you have because the the method that the the company apply now is a modern style and and the office now is a cubicle and you can sit anywhere. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, no just, worries just, about just, it. Mm -hmm. Cubicle. Cubicle. Yeah, cubicle. cubicle. Yeah, the cubicle or the or they put a, a big table and chair and the people can sit anywhere and no worries about it. it's my place. This is the new style that the company adopting mm. because they the the company have a, a open space, no no close space or by by one. I think that these new models is new is new is 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 the new style that we can adapt in, in the in the company. Right. Okay. All right, very good. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna put you guys into your groups again and you're going to be discussing these questions here. So you're gonna decide if the sentences are true or false. Okay. Do we understand? Yeah, we understand what to do? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Give me a second. Okay, I just sent it in the group. We're doing the breakout rooms right now. Nothing happened. Running. Running.
Okay. All right, guys. So I'm hoping that you guys already finished. Yes. Let me share. Okay. So the conflict was a subtle tension developed over a power struggle at the office. This is this is false. 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 Um okay. The other party was very aggressive about his chair being taken. True. True. The employee was interviewed by his manager about the incident with the chair. True. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. The employee didn't apologize to the offended party. False. False. The team manager was affected at dealing with the conflict. False. And the conflict was resolved, but the bad atmosphere continued even after. True. Oh. Oh. Good. All right. There you go. Those are the answers. Okay, guys, we're going to stop oh, yeah. there and we're going to be taking our attendance. Uh, just a quick reminder. We have finished unit two now. So that means that you need to have uh, also finished um, section number two in the platform. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let me take attendance. Ana Lorena Lobato. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernández de Peda. Carlos Mauricio Menjivar Caballero. Present. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present. Edwin Antonio. Present. Eh, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Ulises Torres Torres. Present. Ileana Rebeca Carpio. Ileana Rebeca Carpio. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. José Bernardo López. Present. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Jose Salvador Bernal. Ya, yeah, gotcha. Jose Salvador Bernal. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Josman Atilio Serrano. Eh, Juan. Okay. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present, Miss. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present, Ok, great. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. María Cecilia. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Nelson. Osman Enrique Hernández. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna. Rafael Alexander Serna. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. 
Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Siegfried Ernesto Gómez. Presente. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Miena Elizabeth Alberinga. Present. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez. Irma Evelyn. Amanda Leonela Zamora. Amanda Leonela Zamora. Y Eduardo Antonio Macaña. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. And I will see you guys on Monday. Okay. Don't forget to finish off the platform sections one and two. Uh, and you start, you can start working in the, um, there. in the midterm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So that's it, guys. Take care. See you Monday. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Teacher, sorry, I have a question in the platform because mm -hmm. I try many times, but I don't know what's going on. Sorry. Okay. I can share the because I don't. And and this and this part and when you use the, the third condition now, but I try any time in the platform say that no, 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 <laughs> I don't know. If she had checked, can you continue? She had checked the stock market mm -hmm. reports. She wouldn't have lost so much, so much money. Mm. 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 Okay, what about the other one, number two? And number two, the same, for example, say if team, I try to change team. <laughs> if mm -hmm. team hadn't attend the meeting, he wouldn't have missed the chance to get a promotion. That is strange because mm -mm. okay, I don't know what's going on with those ones. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't because they you do have them correct. So yeah, I remember that in last course the teacher say no worries because maybe it's an error that the platform and say it's okay, but now I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, what, maybe. So um okay, in number one, mm -hmm. how about if you try this? <laughs> what's happening <laughs> I don't I really don't know I, I, I don't get it because it's your same answer oh it's yeah a, it's the a, same yeah the stock what, market report she wouldn't have lost much money yeah it's the same oh, I know okay. it's the same it, it's just, <laughs> I, I don't understand either but yeah um, and for number two, try this one. Oh my God. Maybe it might. No, it, I think it's, it might be punctuation or something. Yeah, I got it. Thank you, Tish. <laughs>
<laughs> but I try to to write again, again, again. I, I, I work. I try to write in work and try to identify the the mistake. But no, you didn't nothing. have any mis <laughs> You didn't have any mistakes. That's why I, I gave it yeah. to you because your answer was correct. I just don't know. Maybe it was like a, a some pun punctuation or something that they wanted okay. you to do. So. To Okay. That's it. Thank you, teacher. You're thank welcome. you. And thank you. And see you on Monday and have a good weekend. <laughs> thank you. You as well. Have a good weekend. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.